welcome to my youtube channel so this is the part 2 of the previous video that i have shown you earlier about the underglow light so in this video i will show you how you can control the leds that you had installed in your car via bluetooth so this video is going to be very interesting and time saving also and pocket friendly also because that previous video was around 1200 rupees so in this video you are going to need more 400 rupees like the arduino nano cost around 200 rupees and the bluetooth module around 250 rupees so it will be around 500 rupees so in that 500 rupees you will be able to control that light totally on your own so the whole budget would come down to around uh, 1600 rupees for the total underglow and this is not just that led which only goes through red green and blue or this only this few color it will have the patterns there will be a lot of patterns you will see in the app and all the links are there in the description below you can go check it out i have given you the app i have given you the code for the arduino and everything is there and mm, don't skip this video because each and every part that i will show you is very important because if something goes wrong the whole led strip can be wasted so like please follow this video minutely don't miss any part like obviously you will get everything in the description but still the circuit diagram all the do's and don'ts i have mentioned in the video please watch it till the end so without any further ado let's get started as i have shown you in the previous video that this is our led strip with the pre-programmed chip over here which controls the entire led so in this video i will show you how you can control this led with arduino and bluetooth so first we need to cut off this portion of the led so that we can control this part because if we do not cut this part the whole led strip will be controlled by this ic only which is not programmable because as we can see here we have two input lines but we need three input lines to control this one is the 12 volt tc and the ground and the data so so here are the three pins that we have to cut after cutting the led from the connecting point we will join three wires one to the 12 volt one to the d d1 di that is the data input line and another one at the ground so after connecting this one we will need an arduino uno or Ar arduino nano anything you can use arduino nano here because it is smaller and it is more efficient to use that in a car so i will show you the connections how you can do it so for doing this project i have considered arduino nano as it is very small so we do we would not have any problem placing it in anywhere in the car and I have taken a HC05 Bluetooth module and as you can see I have already connected the cables uh, I have already connected the wires to them and you can see the circuit diagram right now so here you can see that I have connected the data pin from D6 okay. so I have used the D6 pin for connecting the data input of the RGB strip and I have we have to supply 5 volt to this Arduino Nano and 12 volt to this strip so what we will do is we will give 12 volt power supply to this LED strip from a different buck converter 12 volt and we will give 5 volt 
to this Arduino Nano from a different source. So we will be using two buff converter, one for the 12 volt and one for the 5 volt Arduino Nano. So and we need to make sure that we somehow, not somehow, we just need to connect the ground wire of the LED strip to the ground wire of the Arduino Nano or else it will not work so and the full circuit diagram that is connecting the 12 volt buck converter and the 5 volt buck converter you can see here see it here now so now what we will do is we will pro program this Arduino Nano I have provided the code in the description box below you can download the Arduino code and you, you will upload it to the Arduino Nano. First we need to go to Google Chrome and then we have to find Arduino IDE. So from the first link we can go here and we will download the latest version of Arduino IDE so from here we can download the Windows 7 and newer so after downloading just just download we will select so we will save it and we need to install it so I have already installed in my system so I will open the Arduino IDE okay so first thing what we need to do is we need to go to and after downloading the Arduino IDE it will be installed in our system so now what we need to do is we will open this file that I will provide in the description then we need to go to tools manage library now when you get this manage library you need to install few library packages like first LED find fast LED we will install it and we will install all these packages as you can see I have already installed all these packages so you can see install install so I have already installed these packages and close it and then what you need to do is go to tools we will select board Arduino Nano we have to select Arduino Nano then we need to select the processor as Atmega 320T old boot loader which is important now we will select the COM port and we will connect our Arduino Nano to our system and we will just upload it it's compiling sketch Loading. what we will do is now I have already made an app for this one using the MIT app inventor so I will provide the app in the description box below you can download it from there so so this is the interface of the app that I've built. So you, here you can see I have created all the things that is needed for controlling this Bluetooth module. So you can download it. Now after uploading the code in the Arduino Nano and I'm just showing you from here 
the I have connected through the USB cable but you have to connect it from the 5 volt power supply that you are getting from the buff converter so for now I am just showing you through the USB only so that I get a power on the Arduino Nano and you can see this Bluetooth module is blinking which means that the Bluetooth module is ready to pair so first we need to turn on the Bluetooth on our mobile phone then we can install this LG strip application that I have given you in the description below so install that application and then you can see a connect button over here we can press this connect button and we can see the HC05 is present over here we can select that and it will be connected so now the thing that is that we need to press all these buttons that we see these are all the modes different type of LED patterns that you can make so for each of the modes we need to press it down for two seconds and when the mode is applied you will get a vibration feedback and then you can remove your finger from the button let me show you suppose I will go for the loop one so see after the vibration see the mode loop has started and similarly if we uh, this is currently running on 25% brightness we can go up to 100% like first we select 50% then we can select 75% or we can go up to 100% see we can even change different modes like uh, RWB see and we can even control the speed from this speed bar but if you want to have a static color what you will do we will go down here you can see a button you can press this button and here a color wheel will come up now you can drag this red button anywhere on the palette and once you have got the desired color that you want just hit click on the set button so here you can see we have got the color and like then we want green pull that button over here and just set it will turn into green and then for blue we will bring it over here we get a blue set blue for white we can just pull it in the middle somewhere around here we can set it and we will get a white color so this is how you can control the app and remember for the brightness we just want we just hit once we just don't press it we just don't keep on pressing it we just hit once and the brightness is set and if you don't want to select any of the mode and you want your strip to run through all the effects you just can select demo 1 or demo 2 so suppose I will click demo 1 and it will start on its own and it will run through all the modes one by one and it will continue to run like that you can see So here is the two LED strip ending. I have added one more wire for the data input. That green wire is coming over here. I have connected it to the D6 pin of the Arduino Nano. And I have covered the Arduino Nano in electrical tape so that it doesn't get damaged then here is the bluetooth module 
and here you can see here is the power cable and here is the switch this one is a 5 volt buck is a 12 volt buck we are taking we are taking the 5 volt input for the arduino from this 5 volt buck converter i have set the 5 volt through this screw and you can see we are taking the input in the arduino and here is a 12 volt buck converter which output is fed to the led via this wire so this is the setup i need to bring all of this components together and i will put it in some kind of box or protective plastic and i will show the output or the response at the night bye as you can see it is already dark and it will be the right time to show you the response of the under underboard leds so let's go inside the car and turn on the led we have the switch from here so i have turned it on on turning on the switch the leds won't glow we need to connect to the app and select the mode so that it can glow so here is our app first we have turned on the bluetooth then we are going to connect it to hc05 so as you can see it is connected now let's try the loop so this is running at 25% brightness let's select it at 100% Let's try a different one like the bounce. You can see bounce, then we can select the matrix. We can change the color from the hue let me show you the rwb red white blue now let's select some static color let's select this green okay you can select blue it is kind of violet so mm. now let's check the demo ones So this is all for the video, you can try this at your home, you can build it and if you like my work you can subscribe to my channel and help me grow, it really motivates me. So thank you, I will catch you in the next one, bye.